we performed strength testing, we performed long-term durability testing, we performed computational simulations for this. And what we showed over and over again is that this cement is statistically similar to the cement that we've been using for the last 150 years. And with that, Oregon State University professor Jason Weiss and his research team have paved the way for large transportation agencies like Caltrans to substitute more limestone into their cement. Cement is the flour, uh, concrete is the cake. And more limestone creates Portland Limestone Cement, PLC, which emits significantly less carbon dioxide in the manufacturing than ordinary Portland cement. Concrete actually is the most widely used material in the world. So Caltrans has committed to using PLC in all of their road building. The net effect, they say, will be to remove 28,000 tons of CO2 emissions a year, equivalent to taking 6,000 cars off the road. We've also actually seen benefits when you start combining this cement with alternative cements that we commonly use, such as things like fly ash or slag. Slag is stony waste matter separated from metals during the smelting or refining of ore. It can be added to the mix, increasing yield while maintaining all the attributes of ordinary Portland cement. So by using less cement and more slag, we were able to reduce the carbon footprint of those corner ramps by 20 to 35 percent uh, in each of those installations. The Portland Bureau of Transportation is replacing upwards of 1,500 corners a year across the city to meet the Americans with Disabilities Act. We are all working together to find uh, a way to reduce the carbon emissions. From roads to reservoirs to sewer facilities, lower carbon cement has a place in nearly everything the city builds. That this lower carbon cement can use recycled materials like slag or more limestone and cost equal or less to the current standard is a big win. We're going to end up with a better concrete at the end of the day. But why is it called Portland cement? It was a marketing ploy because it looked like uh, rocks that were coming off the Isle of Portland in England when this was developed uh, 150, 180 years ago. People wanted to give it a a good name, so it, it had the name Portland cement for the Isle of Portland and, and rocks that came off of there. Chris McGinnis, KGW News. That's cool.